Hola, buenos, bonjour, and hello, my friends. Well, something quite amazing happened this week, and I'm not exaggerating. I'll tell you all about it right after this. Hey there, Walt here from Walt in PA, coming at you from the back roads of southeast Pennsylvania in the USA. And you're watching Saddlebag 73. Okay, so this is what happened. I had an email. Not altogether remarkable. I've had them before. But this email was from a subscriber, which is always nice. And it said, hey, saddlebags. Or along the lines of, hey, saddlebags. I see you've bought a Royal Enfield Himalayan. Himalayan, if you prefer. I've just sold one and I'd like to send you the touring seat free of charge and along with some other bits and pieces for the classic 500 well that blew my mind so after two or three emails back and forth I had another one that said oh, I've just found some other bits in the garage for the Himala Himalayan I'll include them in the, de in the parcel or otherwise they're just going to sit in the garage well yesterday, which was Friday the parcel arrived at my workplace after a little bit of confusion because I gave him my work address, but my home postcode, I mean, dough. I so need a secretary. <laughs> anyway, the parcel arrived, I've just been to pick it up. We'll get it home to the garage, and I'll show you what the very kind man sent me. What's in the box? Let's have a look, shall we? Okay, first of all, we have a pair of inner tubes. Michelin tubes, nothing but the best for the Himalayan, a front and a rear tube. Excellent, something I would have been purchasing anyway. Now we have a cool seat cover, again for the Himalayan. Look forward to trying that one out. Now this is the touring seat, which is something I was actually looking into purchasing anyway. In great condition, which has uh, apparently got a firmer foam and is a bit better for the taller rider. So I'm looking forward to getting that on the bike and trying it out. We also have a pair of oil filters for the Himalayan, a resistor cap, and a plug, a rather nice Moton keyring. It's a bit of leather, a hookup for a battery tender. I've actually got a tender with the same link. Optimate. Excellent. Nice. Fluid reservoir cap. That would be for the classic, I do believe. That's going to look great because there's just a, oops, a plain black one on there at the moment. Nice. Very nice. Now, what are these? Valve caps, maybe? It is indeed. Posh valve caps. They'll go on uh, an either classic. Nice one. Those little touches make a difference, don't they? And finally, a pair of chrome barring weights. Nice. They may very well find their way onto Ernie. So much chrome. Beautiful. Now, when I received the parcel, I emailed uh, 
my fellow Royal Enfield rider. He still has a, an interceptor. Uh, to thank him very much for the goods he sent me. Um, and I asked if I can send him some payment to express my gratitude, at the very least to cover the costs of postage. Um, and I had a feeling he might. He actually refused payment and said um, to perhaps make a small donation to a children's charity. Now, if anyone from Hitchcock's is watching, please do feel free to send me stuff free of charge. I'll be happy to display your wares on my channel. <laughs> Well, that was yesterday, and this is, well, this is today, obviously. I've put a touring seat on, I've just come for a quick trip around the block to see how it feels. Definitely firmer, and I do feel sat up a bit higher. Won't be until I do a longer ride that I really know the, know the difference. Anyway, thanks to the kindness and generosity of my fellow Royal Enfield rider, the Rainbows Children's Hospice of Leicestershire are now better off. And it'd be nice to think at some point in the future, I'll be able to buy the man a pasty and a pint. So would you all agree that's an amazing act of kindness? I certainly think so. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Until next time, take care, ciao for now, and bye bye.